My name is uh, Grant and uh, I'm here uh, by the Second Marsh in Oshawa, just to the uh, east of the Oshawa Harbour. And um, we're in an area that's uh, owned by the uh, City of Oshawa. Uh, in front of me I'm looking at the uh, other part of the harbour land owned by the uh, Oshawa Port Authority and an area designated for a proposed uh, uh, ethanol plant. Uh, but here to just tell you a little bit about the uh, early history. I'm standing in um, an abandoned uh, partial shed that was built a few years ago uh, as a kind of a facsimile of something that was down here close to this spot uh, that was an early French uh, cabin. Uh, which dates back at least to 1791 and it was a, a time when uh, various French and English fur traders came along Lake Ontario and would trade with the uh, First Nations here. Uh, there was a band of uh, Mississaugas that lived this, in this area and that would go along the marsh here all the way up to uh, Lake Scugog along the carrying place which we call the Scugog carrying place today and these French uh, and English traders would uh, meet the natives down here at the mouth of uh, the Harmony and Farewell Creeks which is behind me and we're maybe about a thousand uh, yards from uh, Lake Ontario and the natives would uh, gather there uh, particularly in the fall for uh, a long uh, f fishing season. These uh, French and English fur traders would uh, meet them there. So there was one particular uh, fella from uh, Kingston who had a cabin here at that time and would trade with the Mississaugas. And uh, his name was uh, Jean-Baptiste Rousseau. Um, now this wasn't his cabin obviously, and uh, but it's just, uh, a facsimile, if you like, of something that uh, gives you an idea of what it might have looked like after it was abandoned.